um, two to three times a week. So I usually start with the undercoat rake. You undercoat rake, binabrush ko po yun sa dog ko for about mga 10 minutes straight. And then... Hey guys, once again, welcome back for today. You're in for a treat because today I'm gonna share to you my tips on how I've been keeping my husky's coat healthy and shiny. So, alam ko po, a few months ago, or baka I think last year, nag-upload po ako ng isang video. Pero isang tip lang yung shinare ko doon kung paano ako nag, ano, on how I keep my dog's coat healthy and shiny nga. But this time, I'm gonna share to you three tips, three important tips, specifically for Siberian Huskies. Um, now, for those of you who are new in my channel, I have two husky dogs. And one is a standard coat, tapos yung isa po ay woolly coat. So, isi-share ko po sa inyo yung daily and weekly routine namin kung bakit healthy and shiny yung coat ng mga dogs ko. So, without further ado, let's start. So, for my first tip, so, ano ba yung pinakamadali? Mag-umbisa muna tayo sa pinakamadali. So, tip number one, um, establish a brushing routine with your dogs. So, basically, for the brushing, for my both of my dogs, we only do um, two to three times a week. Pero ang secret po dito, yung tip po dito, is to um, do two to three times a week, pero shorter sessions. You really can't um, do one session for like, siguro one whole week. Tapos if you decide to brush their coat for like one hour and a half or two hours, hindi po pwede yun. Kasi longer brushing na paulit-ulit will actually irritate their skin. So ang key here is to um, schedule more sessions, pero shorter ones. So, how long do I brush my dog's coat? So, I usually brush my dog's coat mga around siguro 15 minutes or so. So, yung tools na ginagamit ko po basically are just um, these. I only have two. So, um, so, alam ko po kasi sobrang dami na ngayon sa market na um, fancy brushes dyan na minsan may ba sobrang mahal. Um, I'm actually not particular with the brand. So, I only use, number one, I have an undercoat rake. An undercoat rake, which I use um, for their undercoat, of course. Tapos, meron po ako kailangan na it, ganito po, which is the slicker brush um, for their undercoat. Ah, medyo, may buhok, buhok pa siya kasi kakasuklay ko lang kay Atlas din kanina. So, basically, just the two of these will do wonders for the coat of your dog. So, yun nga po. So, I do this um, two to three times a week. So, I usually start with the undercoat rake. You undercoat rake, binabrush ko po yun sa dog ko for about mga 10 minutes straight. And then, I finish it off with a slicker brush for about 5 minutes or so. So, more or less, ganun lang po. So, again, it's two to three times a week for both of my dogs. Tip number two. Ang second tip ko naman po, ito medyo madali lang din kasi hindi nyo naman kailangan ng ibang tools or anything else. So, Num my second tip or my number two tip for you is to avoid overbaiting your dogs. So, hindi po natin sila kailangan paliguan ng paulit-ulit ng sobrang daming beses sa isang buwan. I, I think some of the owners, nasanay po silang pinapaliguan yung dogs nila for like mga once a week or minsan yung ibang, I think more than that, parang every twice or three times a week pa nga ibang magpaligo eh. So, my tip for you is do not overbait your dogs. Why? Kasi it will only result to dry skin. So, lalo lang na-irritate yung skin po nila. So, um, isi-share ko lang po sa inyo, yung dalawang huskies ko, alam nyo po ba, kahit hindi kayo maniwala, yung huskies ko, naliligo lang sila every three to four weeks max. So, mga once a month. So, um, maniwala kayo sa hindi, even if you research online, if you do your research, yung huskies abroad, yung nasa ibang bansa, they only give their huskies a bath for like about two to mga once or twice a year. A year yun ha. So, syempre dito, i-consider din natin yung um, this is a tropical country. So, mas mainit dito, mas medyo madumi, mas maraming alikabok. So, um, for me, since also my dogs are staying inside my house, we usually play inside the house. Tapos minsan, we do walks. Pero short walks lang naman, about 30 minutes or an, an hour or so. So, hindi na sila talaga technically kailangan paliguan every week ng every week ng every week. So, normally, when we do go out, pag uwi dito sa bahay, pinupunasan ko lang yung paws nila ng damp cloth, pati yung body. Ganun lang. Tapos, talagang at the most, once a month lang talaga sila naliligo. So, that will actually help ano, keep their coat and their um, skin healthy and shiny. So, for my third tip, ano yung third tip ko? Ito yung shinare ko dun sa isang video ko. Um, ito kasi medyo kailangan mo na ng ano, gamit or in this case, a supplement. So, 
um, hindi po ako again I am not ano, endorsing this brand this is not ano sponsored in any way um, pero I've been using the Solgar brand ever since so ang tip ko po sa inyo is to give your huskies a fish oil supplement pero hindi basta basta fish oil so basically yung fish oil po na um, nire recommend ko po sa inyo is if as much as possible you can get a brand na marami po kasing nagko-comment sa isang video ko tinatanong ako kung maganda ba daw itong brand na to or maganda ba itong isang brand naman na to. Um, to be honest, hindi ako kayo masasagot kasi I've been only using this specific brand ever since. So again, this is Solgar. Tapos kung makikita nyo po siya, specifically um, concentrated po siya for EPA and DHA. So yun nga yung tip ko. Pag naghahanap po kayo ng fish oil, it doesn't mean na nakalagay doon 1,000 mg automatic na. 1,000 mg talaga yung kailangan nyo na component. Why? Yung component ng fish oil na super important for our dogs is yung EPA and DHA lang naman. So, if you can see here, alam kong medyo nakikita nyo siya. Yung EPA and DHA component po nung nitong Solgar is 950 mg. So, mataas, mataas na po siya to be honest. Ito na po yung, I think sa Solgar brand, ito na yung pinakamataas nila na concentrated. So, this big bottle is the one that I usually buy for my dogs. Tapos, daily ko po sila binibigyan nito. Um, so, hindi rin ako basta-basta naglalagay, nagbibigay or nagpapainom ng fish oil. Meron po akong dosage na, sinis na sinusunod na isi-share ko rin po sa inyo today. So, yung um, allowable dosage or um, recommended dosage to give for our dogs to supplement their skin and coat is actually 20 mg um, up to 55 mg per pound of body weight. Pero basically, ako po, kay Atlas tsaka kay Luna, ang ginagamit ko lang na computation or dosage basically is 20 mg. Kasi, nung tinry ko yung 20 mg per pound of body weight sa kanila, meron ng effect ako nakita. Gumanda yung skin nila, lumambot, tapos mararamdaman mo yung paghinawaka mo hindi brittle yung hair, tapos sobrang soft. Tapos, at the same time, it boosts their immune system. So, sample lang. Sample na computation. Kunwari, um, for one, siguro husky na um, this is a calculator. So, for example, you have a husky na 50 pounds. 50 pounds siya. So, yung 50, imumultiply nyo lang po siya sa 20. So, that will give you 1,000 milligram minimum. Yun yung ibig sabihin. Yun yung kailangan nung aso po ninyo na amount ng EPA and DHA. Kailangan 1,000 mg. So, minsan kasi pag bibili kayo ng fish oil, parang ako before, may binibili kasi akong brand noon. Kaso, nakalagay doon 1,000 mg. Pero, syempre, bigay ako ng bigay sa dogs ko. Sabi ko, bakit wala akong nakikita ng changes? Parang wala namang nangyayari. Hindi mo nag-improve yung coat. Hindi naman lumalambot. Wala talagang difference. So, I did a lot of research. So, dun ko nalaman na that, that's what, that's the time when I started reviewing yung nutrition portion nung, sa likod ng bottles ng mga fish oil. Minsan kasi nakalagay na 1,000 mg sa harap, pero pagbasa mo sa likod, makikita, hanapin nyo yung EPA tsaka yung DHA content, makikita nyo dun 250 or pag nakita nyo total 350 mg lang pala. So, since I mentioned, di ba, ang kailangan nung dog na, for example, 50 pound na dog is nung minultiply natin siya dun sa correct dosage na 20 mg. So, 50 times 20 mg is kailangan 1,000 mg na puro na DHA and EPA yon. Pero yung binibigay mo pala, akala mo nakalagay kasi 1,000 mg. Pero pagbasa mo sa likod, yung EPA and DHA component pala nun, sobrang baba lang. So, kaya ka walang nakikitang changes dun sa coat ng dogs nyo. So, moving forward, if you are planning to buy a fish oil, yun nga, like I said, it doesn't have to be Solgar, pero check nyo na lang po yung likod. Kailangan nyo siyang i-check, tapos silipin nyo po kung yung EPA and yung DHA component niya is mataas and enough for your dog's weight. Ganun po yun. Kasi, um, yung dogs ko kasi ngayon, si Atlas, he is about, siguro, I think, 26 kilos. Lumaki na kasi sila. Lumaki na sila versus nung time nung ginawa ko yung isang um, video ko about this one. So, ngayon, tumaas na yung dosage nila. So, ako, um, usually, based dun sa dalawang dogs ko, kay Luna at kay Atlas, nagbibigay ako ng one capsule. Kasi 950 po ito eh. One capsule per day. Plus, nagbubukas ako ng isa pang capsule. Tapos, binubutas ko na lang siya. Tapos, tinatansya ko na lang 
Kasi kailangan over a little over 1,000 mg kasi yung dosage na kailangan ni Luna and ni Atlas based on their weight. So, ang ginagawa ko, since 950 lang po yung isang capsule, nagbubutas po ako ng pangalawang capsule tapos naglalagay ako ng konti sa food. So, yun. Yun po yung tatlong tips na gusto kong i-share sa inyo um, na pwede nyo pong gawin for your huskies. Kasi, um, it will actually do wonders for the skin and coat of your dogs. So, sobrang ano niya, sobrang naging helpful siya for me and my dogs. Tapos talaga, ang ganda-ganda ng coat ng dalawang huskies ko ngayon kasi sobrang lambot. Um, when you give them this, siguro for like about mga two weeks, more or less, makikita niyo na po yung difference. But then again, sabi ko nga, you don't, you can't just do this. So, may kasama po siyang um, routine brushing, which is yun nga, um, two times at least in a week, two to three times a week, and then, yun nga po, do not overbathe your dogs. Huwag natin sila paliguan ng paliguan ng paliguan kasi nakakasama rin po yun para sa balat ng dogs. So basically, that's it. Those are the three tips for today. So again, number one, please establish a brushing routine for your dogs. So I do my dogs every two to three weeks, yung brushing um, um, sessions namin. Um, but it only lasts for about mga 15 minutes or so per session. And then number two, please do not overbake your dogs. Huwag natin sila laging paliguan ng paliguan ng paliguan kasi nakaka-dry po yun ng skin ng, and balat po ng, um, and fur ng aso po natin. And then number three, of course, supplements. Um, important po siya, oh, um, but you have to make sure that it is, um, mas maganda yung fish oil nyo is concentrated with EPA and DHA, like this one right here. So again, it doesn't have to be Solgar, you have to, ch you can choose other brands, but you have to make sure na you read yung supplement facts at the back para you can see yung EPA and DHA component. Also, by the way, I, um, ang mas maganda na fish oil na bibilhin nyo is yung mata mas mataas yung EPA component. So in this case, yung EPA kasi nito and DHA is pag tinutal mo is 950. Pero when you see it, pag nakita nyo po siya, mas mataas yung EPA content. So nasa 500 plus. Yung DHA kasi nasa 300 plus. So yeah, that's it. I hope you like my video. I hope you enjoy the video. If you do like the video and if you want to help support my mission to promote responsible pet ownership and pet health, Please like, share, and subscribe. I'm gonna be leaving a few links down below. Please do check them out. And I hope I can see you in my next vlog soon. Thank you for watching.